Hey guys, it's LilBush81. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to downgrade your 3G from 3.1.3 to 3.1.2. Okay. Uh, first off, I'll show you that this is a 3G running the 3.1.3. Okay, as you can see there, it's the 3.1.3. Okay, and we're going to be downgrading to 3.1.2. Okay, first off, what you'll want to do is you'll want to um, get and run iReb. Um, I have a video on getting the iReb as well. And once you have opened up iReb, like so. Um, this is what you'll need to do is you'll need to um, turn your iPhone into DFU mode which is gonna be like hold home and power until screen flickers, well 10 seconds until screen flickers or whatnot. Let up on home or power and keep holding home. Once it picks it up in DFU mode, go ahead and click iPhone 3G, fix recovery, and yes, I already have it, and then 3G again. Okay, and your screen should go should go white like this. Okay, and then you'll get this here. I hate snow. EXD has stopped working. Go ahead and close program. Close that. Close that. Okay, once you got the white screen, you're good to go. Alright? Okay, then you'll go to your iTunes. And your iTunes will have... will say that you are in restore or mode. Like so, the uh, iTunes is in recovery mode. You must restore this one. Hit OK. All right, and then you'll hit Shift Restore. And I have mine in my 3G. And you'll want to the official um, firmware, firmware, and I will put a link in the description of where you can find it. 3.1.2. Okay. And then it'll extract and all that good stuff. And as you can see on the phone, it takes a minute. As soon as it starts extracting the firmware and everything, I'm going to pause the video and I'll start back up when the phone is back on. <coughs> Take, it does take a little bit, so you just have to be patient. <coughs> this is where it'll click out and go to your Apple. does take qu 
quite a bit in the prepare iPhone to restore but then you'll get it and it'll look like this and it'll start restoring your phone okay so I'm gonna pause the video until this is done so I can save video and I'll load it back up when the phone is started okay guys it's back it's uh I'm restoring my phone back to what it was um, now before you run black rain to re jailbreak it or whatnot make sure your phone says this phone's activated before you run it again or else you possibly will have the problem of not getting service or something in those lines um, just make sure you're waiting for it to say this phone is active or activated okay I'm going to pause it for a little bit. Okay, it's done and it's updating everything. As soon as it comes back on, I'll show you guys that I am back on 3.1.2. Okay. is back to the lame boring <laughs> regular home screen okay and as you can see right there it is 3.1.2 all right and uh, give me a second I'll show you that I'm getting service back because there's been a lot of people coming in saying that they don't get their service back so I'll show you guys that I get my service as soon as it pulls up taking a little bit isn't it Does that and then you guys can okay, once you guys got your service up here as you can see then then you can run rain black rain or whatever you use to jailbreak okay don't run the jailbreak until you have that okay leave your sim card inside the phone when you do doing the jailbreak also okay well I hope this video has helped some, uh, some of you guys um, rate comment and subscribe thank you all very much have a great day